Hello and happy Friday, beautiful dancers. Today's our last day together and um, I just wanted to congratulate you on making it through this entire week. I know it has been crazy and strange and weird, but you did it. Yes, you. You made it through and you've persevered and you've been so disciplined and know that I um, respect you and I honor you for that and so does the Lord. So let's dive into the scripture for today. Feel free to close your eyes and let's meditate on the word. This comes from Ephesians 6, 13 through 18. Christ brought us together through his death on the cross. The cross got us to embrace and that was the end of the hostility. Christ came and preached peace to you outsiders and peace to us the insiders. He treated us as equals and so he made us equal. Through him, we both share the same spirit and we have equal access to the Father. Let's pray. God, we thank you, Lord, for the access to you and your Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your love and your mercy and your goodness that chases us down every single day, Lord, and that we have access to that. Lord, I thank you, God, for every dancer here that has persevered this week. Lord, I know that even though we are divided and separated by states and distances, Lord, that we are equal and seen as equal in one body of Christ. Lord, I feel connected to them even though I'm not there with them in person, Lord. I know that you have worked through them and through their lives this week, Lord. We ask for final inspiration and um, Holy Spirit inspired creativity as we round off our uh, dance films today God and as we put that final period mark on the directing aspect and the creative aspect of the films Lord we ask that you would just move through the choreography that we've made Lord and that when we show these films that people will know your love people will see your love and witness your love and feel your love Lord we thank you, God, for dance, and we thank you, God, for movement and all that it offers in ways of sharing the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ. God, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Today is your last ballet class, so grab your ballet shoes, your socks, or your sneakers, whatever you need for your floor. Grab your water, grab your ballet bar, and let's get dancing. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're going to start on the right side. So my left hand will be on my bar, my chair. And I'm going to start in first position, heels together, toes apart. We're going to start with a demi plie. This is preparation five and six, open seven, and a demi plie one, and stretch, demi plie two, and stretch, grand plie all the way down, five and six. And a seven and eight porta bra forwards and one two rolling up three four backwards five combre back six seven time to second we go demi plie and stretch demi plie and stretch grand plie all the way down five six and seven a towards the bar we go one and two three and four away from the bar five six seven tendu to fifth we go demi plie and stretch again demi plie stretch grand plie all the way down five six seven a circular port de bras one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll rise into susu. We're going to balance, balance, balance. Open the arms to second position. Plie, tendu back to first position to finish. Great. Let's try that with music.
Here we go. Seven. Eight. Here we go. Give me three. One. Two. Three. Four. Quarter bra forwards. And one. Roll up. To the back. Second position. Demi plie. One. Two. Grand plie. All the way down. Quarter bra to the side. Away from the bar. Fifth position. And one. Down. Circular porter bra. Susu and balance. And finish back to first position. And hold. Great, good job. Okay, let's go left side. So you're going to move your bar to the opposite side. Now you'll have your right hand on the bar, left hand down on bar. First position, heels together, toes apart. And begin. Here we go. Seven. Eight. Demi plie. Here we go. One. Two. Grand plie. Porter bra forwards. And back. Second. Demi. Run. Towards the bar. Away. Fifth position. Circular porter bra. Fifth position. Okay, now moving on to tondus. We're going to start in first position. It's a quick intro, so we'll just go seven and a tondu to the front, one and a two, three and a four, tondu five, lift it off, put it down to the side, one, two, two mini developes, developé, developé, close to the back, to the back, same thing as the front, back, lift it off, put it down, same thing to the side, side, developé, Develop a. You'll repeat front, front, front. Pick it up, put it down to the side, to the side. Develop a, develop a. To the back, to the back, to the back. Pick it up, put it down to the side, to the side. Develop a, develop a. Good. Those develop a's will just come straight from first. So let's not cross over to feet, uh, fifth. Just keep it. First, first. Good. From there, we'll go port bra forwards. One, two, three, four. Roll up. Five, six, seven. Port bra backwards. Swing the arm to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, plie. Rolling through. Four starch. Going to find our balance. First position. And then we'll come down. And then we'll go to the left. Okay? Here we go. Seven, eight, one, two. Pick it up, 
put it down to the side, develop a side, side to the back. One, two, three, pick it up, put it down to the side, side, develop a repeat. Use the arm. One, two, pick it up, put it down, side, develop a to the back. Quarter bar forwards. One, two, three. To the back. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Roll through for starch. Let go. Balance. Nice, solid, strong core. And finish. Good. Left side. Good. I messed up the back there, but you got it. Here we go. And one, two, three. To the side. Again, one. to the back lift it up to the side develop a there we go forward up to the back release the arm there we go Plie. rolling through balance nice and solid And finish. Good job. Okay, so now we'll be working on degage. So we're going to start with our right foot. We're going to do eight on the right side, eight on the left side, four on the right side, four on the left side, two, two, one, 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 one. So we're going to go one and a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left side, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. To the right, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, two, and one. One, one, one. From there, we're gonna go plie, relevé, plie, relevé. Four times. Four. From here, we're gonna shift over to our right side. We're gonna take our left foot to coupe. We're going to try and balance. We're just going to let go of the bar, see if you can hold it, and then switch left side. So I'm in coupe. My foot is to the back of my ankle, so it should look like this. Yes. Good. So when you decage, you want to make sure that we are not shifting our hips side to side. What we want to do is keep our hip bones nice and straight. In the decage, we have a nice straight knee. The knee should not bend whatsoever. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Here we go. And one, two, three, six, left side, one, two, three, five, six, right side. So we're going to start in first position. If you feel more comfortable focusing on your feet for this, that's totally fine. You can just keep your hands on your hips or otherwise we're going to keep our arm out in second position. So you're going to go for preparation five, six, tendu seven, flex eight. 
two frappes to the front. One, flex, two, flex. Two to the side. One, flex, two, flex. Two to the back. One, flex, two, flex. We're going to do petit pas with your flex foot. Five and six and seven and time to do eight, flex, and. So eight and. Then we reverse. One and a two. Three and a four. Five and a six. Seven and eight. And a one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and a eight. And a one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And a eight. And from here. Circular port de bras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two, three, four. We're going to turn into the bar. Seven, eight. Attitude, balance. Back foot is going to go up. Attitude. We're going to let go of the bar. Five, six, release. Seven, eight. If that's too much, all we're going to focus on is a passe with the back foot. So I'm going to turn towards my, my bar. Lift my back foot, passe, and we're just going to hold it. So it's your balance of choice. Either you can do an attitude back, extend into an arabesque, or just passe hold. Totally up to you how you want to challenge yourself. Okay? So we're going to go from fit position, five, six, tendu, seven, flex, eight. Okay? Here we go. Messed up. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. It's quick. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, to the back, five, six, petite pas ma, seven, eight, to the back, to the side, to the front. Again, front, side, to the back, and to the back, reverse, front, petit bama, circular port de bras, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Either passe or attitude. Find your balance. If you want to test your balance, let go. You're our best. And finish. Good. Left side. Switching it around. Left side. Really make sure your frappes are strong. Frappe means to strike. So Every time you hit the floor, it should feel like strike, strike. And especially with carpet, sometimes it's hard to feel that. But really try to brush all the way through the length of the foot, through the toes, to get that striking action. Here we go. Quick intro. Seven, and one, two, three. Five, six, seven, to the back. Let me hear it. To the front. Petit bump ma. Again, one. To the side. To the back. Petit bump ma. To the back. To the side. To the front. Circular porter on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Turn towards the bar. Plie. Passe the back leg. Either stay here or attitude. Find your balance. 
release. And close. Good job. Okay, so now we're moving on to grind We're going to put our left hand on the bar. We're going to go um, arms out to the side. Seven, eight. Come into the front one. Close. Two, degage. Three, and the four. Two grand mamas. Five, and the six, and the seven. Eight to the side. Tendu, and close. Degage. Three, four. Grand mama. Five, and six, seven. To the back we go. Tendu, and close. Degage, and close. Grand mama. Six, seven, eight. You're going to brush out to the side on a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to go five, swirl, six, seven, and eight. Left side, time to be one, and close, two, and close. Grab my mom, three, and close, four, and close. To the side, time to do, two ground back miles, two ground back miles. To the back, time to close, degage, close, grab my mom, five, six, Seven, eight to the side, swirl in, knee to the side, out, big brush, open, turn around, and finish. Okay, here we go. Okay, today is our last day of choreography, which is super exciting, but also like, whoa, kind of crazy. But today we are playing film director, producer, not only choreographer, but performer as well. So today is filming day. So what I want you to do right now is to review everything that you've created over the past four days. So what you have is, you have your story, which you've journaled about. You have your emotions associated with the story. You have your site location. And then within that site location, you have different objects, which are your furniture, the architecture around you. If you wanted to bring in props, you can use props as well. You have all of that material. And then you also have your transitions from shape one, transition, shape two, to three, to four, to five. Okay, so you're going to use that dance material and you are going to film your own narrative dance film today. Yes, today. You can do it and I believe in you. But what, you, what I want you to think about is putting on your director's cap. What you want to think about is your audience is the lens of the camera. So think about facings. Think about where you want to place the camera. Do you want it face on? Do you want the camera to only see your profile? Do you want the camera to only see your back? Every facing has a different um, story you're portraying. If I'm facing the back, that means I don't want to be seen or I'm trying to hide something. Or if I'm out in front of the camera, I'm trying to show something that I want to share with the world, right? So think about where you want your camera. Do you want the camera to move with you? Do you want someone else? Do you want a parent or a sibling or someone else in your home to film you while you're dancing? That can create a sense of transition and moving and, a, and that gives a different um, a time lapse between your memory that you're telling. So think about that. Um, it's not just about just propping up the camera, which you can totally do. But think about the lens of the camera as the eye of the audience. That is key to um, the, the narrative and the story that you're trying to tell. So 
think about all of this. Think about what you're wearing. I really encourage you to dress modestly and to cover as much as possible because um, we don't want anything to be distracting from the story that we're trying to tell. Also, get creative with what you're wearing. If you have a specific costume that is um, essential to the story you're trying to tell, go for it. Do the makeup, do the crazy hair. Um, what I feel for dancers over film, we have to be 10 times more um, over the top almost. Rather than just performing on a stage, there's that the barrier of the camera and the lens. So be overly dramatic, not just in the way that you're dressing, but also the way that you're moving and expressing your facial expressions. So remember why we're doing this film, it's about sharing an experience where we encounter the presence of God, the peace of God. Yeah, so the whole purpose of this is so that the people behind the other side of the camera, through the computer screen, when they're going to be watching this, they will see Jesus, right? That is the whole purpose, is that they see the love and the joy of Jesus and that they will be able to experience it through your movement and your storytelling. How amazing is that? What an opportunity we have as artists to convey that message, especially during this time where everything is digital. We have even a broader landscape as artists to pull from. So go film. You're going to be incredible. I'm so excited to see what you guys are going to make. And yeah, this has been such a blessing and an honor to work with you this past week. And um, yeah, I'm so thankful. I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna come up with. Okay, go be amazing storytellers. Yay!